Hey, what's up? It's Russell, and welcome back to more Nuclear Throne. Uh, so I think we're gonna pick Melting because yesterday we played Plant, uh, and I think we did like another Melting run, and it was like five seconds or something like that. And I was like, you know what? We need to try to do a, a full Melting run, and this could be really quick too. Oh no, this is a daily. Hmm. You know, for the daily we'll do steroids, and then we'll do some just normal Melting runs. So we'll start out with steroids here. And we were trying to unlock YV, but that's secondary uh, to, like, getting a good daily down. So, you can see steroids. Two guns instead of just one. Uh, you can fire them simultaneously, or, you know, you can alternate. You get the point. You get two weapons. Uh, and, yeah, you start out with uh, two pistols, and so it starts out uh, with double the ammo. I'm not sure if it's exactly double, but you get a little bit more ammo just to uh, compensate for that. Because uh, otherwise, you would just run out of ammo super quickly if you were, uh, you know... To start okay so here we're gonna you're gonna see so yeah you can have like two different types of weapons so you don't have to have the same one he looks sad there hmm. i mean i would be sad too if i was like stuck in this nuclear wasteland okay so we're gonna try to grab that machine gun and i might sound no not not, not sound weird but i might uh like my manner of speaking might be a little uh strange because uh, I'm trying to figure out a way uh, that I can record and then have, wow, that was stupid, and have three different audio uh, tracks going at the same time, uh, where pretty much in the past, it's been um, two, and to be honest, I probably should have just done that, the, what, what I've always been doing, uh, because now I have my headphones plugged into like a different port. And so I can't hear myself talking, but that's, who cares, that's not really important, because no one else is going to experience it. It's just weird, you know, like when you're, when you're talking and you have, like, you, you can't hear yourself. It's like when you're talking and you have your headphones on, you start, you're speaking very loudly. Uh, it just sounds weird because I have like the one headphone on and the one headphone off. Uh, and it's just a little awkward because I'm just used to. Hearing my voice exactly how how it is and just knowing like okay I'm getting a little too loud or I'm a little too quiet or stuff like that. But let's go back to the game because that's what uh, that's what's uh, interesting here. So yeah, you can see steroids are pretty cool because you don't ever have to switch weapons. You can just constantly have uh, both weapons equipped at the same time. Uh, and and I got into this groove or are pretty much I've practiced not really practiced but I've played enough. Uh, to like keep it in my head like okay make sure you know which weapon is in which hand so that if you get into like like for example I like to keep my more spammy weapon so in this case like the machine gun in my uh, left click because that's the one I'm gonna click if I'm like freaking out and I'm just trying to like you know just shoot like crazy then I'm just gonna click that left click like crazy so I put like a a spammable like the more spammable weapon or the uh Weapon with a higher rate of fire and more ammo in that slot. Because that's going to be the one that I that I immediately go to when I'm trying to uh, defend myself quickly. I mean, it's obviously a personal preference thing. That just helps me out. And then I put in my right hand the more... Uh, uh, usually the more powerful weapon. The one that's more considered like a one hit. Not really one hit, but the one that, you know... Low mana... No, no, low mana. <laughs> low ammo cost. Uh... Or yeah, low ammo count, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Low ammo count, uh, high damage. I keep that in the right click because then when you're clicking with the right, it's a little bit more deliberate. Okay, so we're going to take Throne Butt here because it's steroids is like, he has a really, really cool Throne Butt. And it's, you can read it, it's like one of the most complicated ones. Firing gives ammo for your other weapon and more effective when firing both. So, now every time I shoot, I have a chance to get weapon. To get ammo for my alternate weapon. So when I'm shooting the machine gun, I have a chance to get bolts. When I'm shooting my crossbow, I have a chance to get bullets. And when you're... Because steroids is kind of built to be like this super spammy character. Where you just... You're constantly shooting... Uh, like all... like Well, all. Oh, you only have two weapons. Both your weapons at the same time. So you see there, I just got bolts. And I don't think I picked up an ammo. But yeah, so if you're spamming both of them, you even have a higher chance. I don't really know exactly how that's measured, you know? Like... If I shoot one, like, right after the other, or do I literally have to be clicking them at effectively the same time? 
That is, uh, I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal because pretty much if you're just shooting really fast with both your weapons, you're probably going to get ammo. A uh, laser rifle for, yeah, we'll do that. Now I'm looking, now because of how this is, you can see I'm getting a lot of uh, energy and stuff like that. I want to, I like when you're, when I'm steroids, and you can see there it even gave me some ammo there. I wasn't even, I didn't even hit anybody. But, oh, I was going to say this. Uh, I like getting back muscle because you're such like an ammo, like your character is based around just shooting and wasting a bunch of ammo uh, to do a bunch of ammo, to do a bunch of damage very quickly. You can see what I'm saying about my manner of speaking. I'm not normally this horrible at uh, just talking. But yeah, what I was saying was I like to get... Uh, ammo uh, mutations mutations that help you conserve ammo because it just combos nicely with his throne butt and his uh, character in general being like a super high ammo wasting character I guess is the way I would explain it oh but he also has less accuracy I forgot to talk about his passive so I think he might be like the only character with like a strictly negative passive uh, because I was talking about how eyes passive just kind of sucks but it's not like actively harming you. It's just not good. What is this? Give me that. Auto crossbow? That's probably better. Woo! That's probably better for uh for this guy here because you know you want to be shooting faster, more more often. You are a little less accurate. See, I'm just gonna spam there. Got a little bit of ammo back, nothing too crazy. And that bolt marrow would be nice here too. Just because it would be able to, you know. Uh, having the auto crossbow being able to bounce around. Um, trigger fingers is pretty pretty nice. Strong spirit. But I think we're going to go with scarier face. So we can use less ammo to kill enemies. Whoop. Take that. So yeah. So you're going to see me. You know. Spamming shots a lot. And that's why I'm. That's why I went with the. When normally I would go with the basic crossbow. But in this one I went with the more. Uh. I went with the auto crossbow, even though I don't really prefer it. It's definitely more suitable to uh, steroids as a character. And you can see we're already we're like just spamming this stuff, but we're still pretty high on ammo. It's pretty nice. Uh, we're not very high on health though, so we're going to play a little more carefully for the next maybe a couple levels, or maybe we can get like some HP. I think we'll take bloodlust. Eagle eyes would be nice because I was talking about how with the accuracy problems and all that. Um, you know, I think I can avoid damage. I think I can do it. And I think this is going to be better in the long... And I'd spawn right next to a freaking car. And I got HP as long as I grab that. Woo! <laughs> oh, that could have been the end right there. So luckily I was able to dodge that. Get rid of these guys. They have uh, lots of rads in there like that. And luckily the auto crossbow is... Really good on this level, especially against... I, I don't want to be careful about the car, because he's going to toss that car. There we go. I want to blow it up. There we go. Get rid of any possible uh, obstacles that could kill you in one hit. Get rid of him. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. We're high on on uh, this. We're high on... What is this? Uh, laser, laser ammo, so... Or energy, I guess. So we're going to be spamming that one a little more often. That's kind of how I do it. Um, I should probably just, you know, literally spam both of them, but I think we should have an okay time. Oh, I just took damage. I was going to say, we should have an okay time against uh, one of my most hated enemies, uh, Little Hunter. Just because being able to spam and kill him very quickly is nice, because his the main problem that with him... Well, I died anyway, so it doesn't matter. The main problem with him is that he's very mobile, and the longer you let Little Hunter stay alive, the more problems he's going to cause you. That was all right. Kind of sucked. Got a little distracted, but whatever. Okay, we're going to go normal. We're going to try to do melting. How do you... Yeah, reach... Question mark, question mark, question mark to unlock. And then... Who is that again? Horror. We know how horror gets unlocked, so that's not a big problem. Why V... Hmm. This is cool. I want to find out how to unlock chicken, because I have no idea. It says reach... I know we went underwater that one time, but I doubt that's how you unlock chicken. But we're going to try to find that out uh, eventually anyway. I don't I don't know if I'm going to go on the 
on the wiki for that, but if it takes too long, we'll we'll do our, our uh, quest to unlock chicken and then quest to unlock whore and stuff like that. That'd be pretty fun. Once I figure out, that's the thing is like, do I want to just like wing it, you know, and just be like, oh, like let's just play until we unlock chicken, cause that, but cause that could take it forever, you know. It's kind of like if I were to do something like for Binding of Isaac, where it's like. And if you haven't played Binding of Isaac, it's another roguelike game. Probably kind of more similar to Nuclear Throne. It's hard to explain. You have to see it to uh, to understand what I'm trying to say. But before we go back into that, we're going to take back muscle. Because you know I like to take back muscle early. Um, and I was just clicking right click trying to use <laughs> use the laser pistol. So I'm a little stuck on steroids. But what I was saying is in Binding of Isaac, it's a game kind of like this one. And instead of like guns and stuff like that, there's just like effects added to your character. Um, so it would be like if you, if you started off with a revolver and then from the rest of the game, instead of getting new weapons, you just uh, like change your, how your revolver worked. That's pretty much the basics of it. So you would change how, uh, how your revolvers work. So, oh, are you kidding me? All right, we'll retry. Uh, whether or not you'd make them shoot faster or do more damage, stuff like that. And there's so many different like items in there that affect like trying to get specific ones that could take forever so that's what i'm trying to equate is that with the randomness of not knowing how to unlock because technically it's not random you don't unlock uh chicken at random there's a specific thing you have to do but technically since i don't know what i'm doing it's random like i don't know when i'm going to unlock unlock chicken so effectively it's random so who knows how long that could take and we did just get shotgun, so I think we're gonna go eagle eyes. I just they just dropped shotgun right there. Uh, shotgun's gonna be a little more effective. You see, it's, it's now it's more. It's not exactly like slugger because all the bolts aren't overlapped on onto one, but you can see like they're it's pretty close. Where normally shotgun just like the spread is huge. Speaking of slugger, I yes I prefer slugger way more than. I wonder which one's better, shotgun with. Shotgun with the uh, shotgun with eagle eyes or slugger? That's a definite question. So we're gonna do one more. No, I mean, yeah, we'll do one more with melting, and then we'll just do another steroids one because these melting ones are just becoming embarrassing. Not actually, like I don't, I don't really care, but they're just becoming so like such short little quick things. I'm not getting very far. It's not the most interesting thing. You know, I wanna like, I can't do the same level first level over and over and over again it's like it's boring not only to watch but just to get over here stupid laser pistol uh so it's funny because you know i there was second stomach there and even though i'm obsessed with plutonium hunger i would have at least considered second stomach but having two hp means that second stomach is useless unless i get like rhino skin to like increase my health because having two hp why would i want uh, health packs to give me four when that'll never help me so that is one thing about melting is you gotta kind of like think about what mutations are effectively useless so i mean at least without other uh specific mutations or upgrades um so like for example we just did uh second stomach it's not gonna help you because you'll never have the ability to heal has 2 HP so why would you care that now you have the ability to heal for it's never gonna help you unless you have rhino skin Gotta be careful uh, I think we're pretty we're pretty set we're probably gonna kill big bandit we got slugger and that's definitely useful try to blow up some corpses next to him uh, bloodlust also you can heal for one when you kill an enemy but the only time you're ever gonna take one damage is gonna hit by a maggot so, it's kind of useless to get that. Uh, no, we should be fine there. I didn't know if one of those was going to hit us, but... Luckily, the uh, spread is pretty... It's pretty nice. Well, not well. it's nice for us, not not for the enemy. Yeah, we'll do Throne Butt. <sighs> Bigger Corpse Explosion. That was definitely a debate but in my head. A real quick one between this and... Uh, whatever that's called. Um, scarier Face. But, since it's a little more interesting to do like, the explosions and kind of like combo them together, you know? Like if I can kill, see, I like the like I like doing that where you can combo the explosions because you kill one, and he's dead, and like explode him, and then he kills somebody else, and 
so on and so forth. And that helps a lot in this level down here. Because there's usually a lot of, uh, a lot of rats, you know, all congregated in one little area. They can get it going. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, it's really cool when you have, like, a big group of people. Let's see if I can do it now. Yeah. A little bit, but you get the point. And I've done it before in, in Melting Runs. Uh, also, a uh, tip for Melting Runs. And, again, another tip that I've said before is turn up the screen shake. Uh, because the screen shakes, right? So, theoretically, these enemies shouldn't be getting hit by the explosion. But when the screen shakes, the hitbox, I guess, for the explosion stays active and shakes along with the screen. Meaning that it hits more things. If that makes any sense. So, Strong Spirit, very good with melting. Because you take damage, alright, and then it didn't actually kill you because you're Strong Spirit. And then to activate it, you only need to heal too, so you only need one HP pack. Or if you have Bloodlust Strong Spirit, I mean, maybe it's pretty good, I don't know. I'm sure that, that could be uh, an effective combo. And we're also been looking for a uh, screwdriver to unlock Y, or what I assume unlocks YB. Just hit him with a wrench. So I don't have to waste ammo. But yeah. So I gotta keep an eye out for uh, screwdrivers and stuff like that. Before this level. Because I'm assuming that's how you unlock YV now. And again, I can always hit unlock all if it takes forever. But I think it'd be a little more interesting. To actually try to unlock these characters. And I'm not trying to fight horror with Melting. You get hit once and you're dead. There's no way I'm getting... Uh, I'm gonna get through that. So Rhino's getting almost like a... Ha you have to pick it up. Because it pretty much, before then, you make one mistake, and you're done. And making one tiny little mistake is not crazy in Nuclear Throne. Oh, it's going to happen. So, you want to negate the fact that making one tiny little dumb mistake that maybe you would never ever make, uh, not paying attention to a maggot or something, you don't want that to be what, what ends your run. But it could be when you're playing Melting, so... That's why you gotta get that. What else? So that's why. Strong Spirit plus all this. This is really good. So like in, in a way, having Strong Spirit and lower health is actually... It, it has its own little synergy in a way. Took some damage there. That was pretty stupid. Get out of here. So we're, we're running low on uh, bullet ammo, which I don't like. Because bullet ammo, that's the gun. Those are the guns you're supposed to have like a huge surplus of ammo for. But sadly, that is not the case right now. So we're going to be looking for ways to supplement that or maybe get a new weapon. Laser weapon. Um, I'm not really a fan of explosive weapons. But with such low bullet, I might I would, I would, might even think about taking it. That was close. Now, and then something about the assassins. I feel like they only try to hit you. Not only. But there's like a thing where they'll try to hit you only... I keep saying only. But when you attack them. So if you can like stall that. Just because I feel like they always do like a little counter attack. Like whenever I shoot at them, like as soon as I click, then they activate and freaking take me out. I'm going to try to walk up because... Okay, so second... Uh, strong Spirit is now gone. It is now not active. And I'm dead. Okay. So we're done talking about freaking melting. Stupid. It is, he's pretty cool and interesting. And I've had some... Uh, fun runs with him. I don't think I've ever got to the throne or anything, but maybe I'm forgetting something, but I doubt it. So, steroids, we're back with steroids. He's really fun. I've had some really cool runs with him, uh, and being able to fire off weapons simultaneously is really cool because you don't have to switch. So, you can just spam, spam, spam. It's really fun when you get like two super powerful weapons, or like a minigun and like a hyper rifle. What? Well, exactly. What I was going to say is having the throne butt and two of the same type of weapon, you're just going to get ammo like, whew, like crazy. Because since they're alternating, you know, like the ammo sources, you're going to get ammo for your uh, offhand weapon or whatever weapon you're not shooting with. If both weapons use the same ammo, then you're just getting what? You're just getting ammo for both. So spamming that. So like right now, it's not actually active because I, we don't have the throne butt. But if I did... Then I'd be getting ammo for, for both weapons because they use the same ammo type. Pretty cool little thing. Um, and I definitely... I would def I definitely try to try to do that whenever I have the chance. Because I feel like it's a significant buff. Because you just... Not infinite ammo, but 
close. And it's really cool to have, like, like I said, uh, two fast firing bullet weapons against the throne or other big bosses, and you just lay into them. Okay, we got a bunch of maggots. I want to clear out the maggots first. And right now, again, I have the machine gun in my left hand uh, because it can shoot faster, has a higher fire rate. So if I'm going to. Whoop! Took some damage there. That was kind of dumb. But now we're switching because I want to get. Uh, I don't want the revolver anymore. You gotta try to replace a revolver as soon as you can, but that's that's like video game 101. It's like get rid of your starting weapon and pick up something that looks cooler or does more damage or something. Okay, probably just a little maggot rolling around. Nope, the bandit. Oh, we got actually a couple enemies up here. Uh, you know we could try to unlock horror in this one. I don't see anything wrong with that. Okay, second stomach. Uh, laser laser brain was definitely a choice, uh, like an option there. Um, but since it's only a laser pistol, if it was a stronger laser weapon, maybe a laser rifle, I might have considered it a little bit more. But laser pistol is is good. But it's not like I feel like a mutation. You need to get a mutation just for that. I've done it before. And I I feel like I usually regret it, and I'm usually like, eh. It's doing damage, but what's the point if I had... Because normally I roll with, like, crossbow or slugger because, like, I take those weapons and never have the chance. So it's like, if it's not one-shotting the enemies that a slugger will one-shot, you're alive, huh? Yeah, you are. So you gotta listen for those little slurp sounds so you can uh, get rid of those fake chests. SMG sucks. Not gonna take it. I'm already... Oh, I have eagle eyes, so... It does increase the accuracy, but... I wonder. I'm gonna try to take it. Let's see how. Let's see how it, how it shoots. Oops. Uh, I need a more long range. We'll roll with it because it's not a daily. So we'll roll with it. It's fast firing, so it wastes ammo, and I usually don't like that. But we do have eagle eyes, and it's not a daily, so we can do some funny stuff. So yeah, eagle eyes is is nice because it's offsetting. I wonder if like does eagle eyes negate. Um the negativeness of his accuracy steroids and increase it to where it would be normally increased with like character like plant or fish any other character what, what I mean by that is so is eagle eyes does it give you a set accuracy does it change you to a set accuracy so like let's say in like RPG terms right uh, your character has 20 accuracy right does eagle eyes always set a character to 30 accuracy or does it do plus blank and that's actually a, a valid and uh, interesting question because that would mean that steroids is really good with eagle eyes because it off offsets his uh, normally bad passive and gives him higher accuracy than that instead of just like bringing him up to par with other characters yeah, thrown butt. We don't have an any. Uh, we don't have a, a bolt weapon. Not that the uh, bolt, having a bolt weapon would have changed my mind. Maybe would have thought about it, but doubt it. But yeah, that's definitely an interesting question to have, and I wish I can get an explosive weapon to get rid of those. There's bullets flying from everywhere. This crossfire is crazy. There's bullets and fire and man. This, that's what gives me nuclear throne when I'm having to pay attention to like four or five different angles of attack. Oh, gotcha. Because then you're trying to pay attention to like, oh, there's bullets coming from above me and to the left of me and to the right of me. Oh, dang that. That, yeah, that was going to hit me. Okay. This is a big level. No, okay. Actually, it's not that big. Come on. Yeah, dude. Okay. So what? Are, let me look at my mutation. So back muscle obviously is good with steroids, especially now that I have uh, his uh, throne butt. So we're gonna be looking for that. Uh, and maybe it might make me pick up stuff that I normally don't pick up, like what is it? Lucky shot, which is like bullets that hit bullets. I'm, I'm gonna keep slugger to blow up these missiles. And then the grenades. Actually, I'll just do this. And just shoot them at the same time. I'm trying to... Okay. That was a pretty good fight. Oh, yeah. We did take damage there. That was a little hard to dodge. 
Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Mm, it's between Rhino Skin and Plutonium. <sighs> we'll take Rhino Skin. Uh, cause like we're hurt, so that's kind of making me think like, oh, I'd, I'd like a little bit more health. And luckily, we have scarier face. Yeah, we do. So that's that's what's gonna help us. We're probably gonna die here because there's a lot of spiders, and the SMG does not appear to be doing work against them. Uh, we'll try out the energy screwdriver, I guess. Huh. Does it kill him in one hit? Seems to do a, a pretty good amount of damage. Um. We'll roll with that. How many does it use? Three, two, two. So it only uses... Does this do a lot of damage? Did it kill that one crystal in one hit? If it did, that's a pretty big deal. Because I would definitely roll with that. And I wonder if it also works with... Uh, you know... His uh, throne button stuff. Does using the screwdriver count as like, you know... Firing a weapon using the ammo? So that thing attacks fast. We're in a bad spot. Gotta get out of that corner. Come on, get out of here. Oh, okay, so we're in a pretty, like, bullet heli spot. So we're gonna try to get out of here. Because you don't want to try to, like, dodge all these different shots. Ooh, lightning rifle. Oh, and we have the throne butt. Oh! So what I'm trying to say is what how I was saying about having two of the same ammo type. Pick it up. So the lightning rifle could be my long range solution, where the energy screwdriver is my, uh,. Wait, yeah, the energy screwdriver is my, my close range. Even though I didn't even use it right there when that guy was charging at me. Luckily, we got a nice big HP pack over there. Gotcha. So we're going to roll like this, see what it's like. Double sluggers could be really funny. But we, it wouldn't have been possible because that thing was blocking our way to go back and get the other slugger. So, wait, let's see. Okay, lightning rifles in the right. Energy screwdrivers in the left. One, two. Okay, energy screwdriver is good. We, we do also have scarier face, so it'd probably be like a three hit or something. But that's still really good, especially for the speed that it attacks. Let's see if we can go up here and find a little bit of a safer spot to hang out. Gotcha. Wow, that's awesome. I think I've been like neglecting melee weapons. And I think I know that. Like, I know I've been kind of like not really picking up melee weapons just because of my uh, traditional play style. It's like. I don't want to get close. I want to stay back and snipe them. But I think we're going to try to go for some more melee runs. That could be pretty fun. Oh, because I think the fact that they destroy uh, bullets is what makes them extra powerful. There are some uh, weapons that actually destroy bullets. But the fact that... Do we have back muscle? Yeah, we do. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Laser brain could be pretty good here. Uh, but yeah, destroying bullets makes them so powerful because... Or at least being consistent on that front. Because uh, enemies... So you don't have to be long range when you can just deflect or destroy all the attacks coming from the enemy's long range. Even though I just lost there and I'm just going to keep talking like nothing even happened. We're going to go straight into the outro like this. If you like the video, then you can hit the like button. And if you didn't like it or you did and you want to be a little more in-depth about what you want to... You know, what you want to say that you like slash... Uh, didn't like some constructive criticism is always welcome. You can leave that in a comment or send me a message Either is uh, is fine with me and if you want to see more nuclear throne uh, You can subscribe if you want to see me try to unlock these characters and figure out how to unlock chicken in the first place Then you can subscribe for that you can also subscribe to see just other random video games that I like to play and uh, also games in the future uh, and I always you know I like to say that I'm going to be playing the obvious stuff like uh, Fallout and Metal Gear and Battlefront and yada 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 so on and so forth. But I'm also going to be playing little stuff. I'm really looking forward to the Mega Man collection. Um, being that the Mega Man games are like a gap in my video game um, repertoire. So, hope you like the video and more importantly, I hope you have a great rest of your day.